Hi guys, he's all right. Tony, do you want to kick off? Sure, yeah. Rusha, uh, talking to the girls the last couple of days, they'd only just arrived in. Um, so you've had a little bit more time. You've had a training session, I guess. How's it been? Yeah, we've had a couple of sessions so far. Uh, today was quite light. Obviously, some girls played matches on Sunday. So it's just kind of a recovery session. And we got a wee bit of set pieces done, which is nice to get started on early in the week. So that was good. And the game against U Ukraine, obviously, the last game against Germany was a the most difficult assignment, but how, how, what do you think you learned from the game and particularly your second half performance? Yeah, the Germany game was a huge uh, learning experience for us. Look, they're one of the best in the world. They've been doing it for years, they're consistent. So for us, it's great to, you know, compete against them and see, you know, how much we need to work on and how far we've got to go yet. Um, but it's always good to test yourselves against the best. But, you know, it'll be, it'll be good for us going into this Ukraine game, you know, after playing Germany. So we're looking forward to it. Can I ask you, by the way, has Katie been talking about anything else apart from her goal in the last 48 hours? What, what you mean the cross? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nah, she's a, but she was quite happy with it. She, she claims it was a, it was a shock, but she said she was whipping it and whipping it in across the keeper if anyone got a head on it. So she's still claiming that it was a shock, but. Good to see her, though, in such good form with such a big game coming up, isn't it? Oh, yeah, she's flying. Look, she's uh, she's always been such a good player. Um, obviously, being at Arsenal now, and she's getting minutes regularly. She's, like, a very important player for them now. And she's very versatile. You know, she's made that left-back position her own. But we all know when she comes to Ireland, you know, we want her higher up the pitch, um, you know, creating chances and, you know, hopefully scoring goals. So it's great to have her in good form going into this game. Very best of luck to you for... Friday. Cheers, thank you. Uh, Philip Egan, go ahead. Yeah, thanks very much, Harusha. Uh, just go back on something you just said there to Tony about uh, going to test yourselves against the best. How far do you think you are off challenging these teams? Look, we've got a wee bit to go, but in terms of how far we've come, we've come such a far away since I've been in the squad. You know, most girls now are at professional setups, they're at professional clubs, and that's massive. You know, it's so important to be training every day against good players from all around the world. You know, there's there's not just English and Irish players eh, in certain teams. There's, you know, there's foreigners from everywhere, which is huge. You know, you get people that are physical, fast, strong. You get people that are more technical. So it's, you know, it's great to test yourself against these kind of players. But, you know, for the women's team, um, you know, we're, we're making huge steps going forward. But obviously we need to keep pushing and, you know, the next step will be to compete against Germany and, you know, trying to get results against them. But, you know, I don't think we're too far off it, but all in good time. Obviously, qualifying for a major tournament would be a massive step for the squad to take. And that's what's on the line on, on Friday. The fact that a draw would be good enough for you to, to get second place, is that something that can be a little bit dangerous where you're kind of stuck in between how to approach the game. Yeah, look, we know we know Ukraine. They're a strong team. You know, they've got really good players in their squad. So it's going to be a tough game. You know, to get a draw would be massive for us. Um, I think for us, we need to just focus on, you know, not switching off, not getting complacent. You know, they're very good on the counter. They've got fast, fast players. So we'll be aware of that. And, you know, we hope we can deal with it and manage it well. Um, but we're just focusing on going into the game as best prepared as we can. So, All right, well, best of luck on Friday. Cheers. Well, Dolly. Hi, Rosha, how are you? How are you doing? How's things? Good, thanks. Um, how have you been finding playing under Vera uh, since you came back into the squad? She's obviously put a, a lot of faith in you personally. Yeah, look, it's great. I'm really delighted that Vera and Jan Willem and Eileen has brought me back into the squad. You know, it was hard being out of the squad for such a long time, so I'm really happy she's brought me in. Um, it's great working under under her. Um, you know, she's she's worked with teams in the past. She's almost worked at a very high level, so it's great to have someone with her set of knowledge and experience, you know, to be working under and learning from. So it's, it's really good. Yeah, you kind of alluded to it there earlier as well. I think it's eight years since you, you first came into the squad. 
In terms of the, the standard of preparation, um, the resources, the level of support and, and the exposure the, the team is getting now, is there a big difference? That, like, Does it feel like the, the team and Irish women's football in general has come a long way? Yeah, of course. Like, I think now in the, in the FI, you know, we've got the backing. We're all, we're a big family unit now, you know, and it's great to have the backing of everyone. Um, you know, we've come away here. We're well prepared. We're here. We've got great facilities. Um, so, no, it's good. We're we're in a good place now. Thanks, Rusha. Best of luck. Cheers. Uh, Anthony from RT. Rusha, hi. Oh uh, yeah. Can I just ask about how it's been this week in the bubble? I mean, it's it's obviously a little bit tighter, a little bit stricter. And um, are you restricted even in terms of socialising with each other and hanging out with each other outside the training hours? And, and has that how much of a challenge has that been this week? Yeah, look, it's tough. You know, it doesn't feel normal for anyone, I guess. But uh, look, we've got to be professional. We can't really risk anyone catching COVID in this case. So, you know, we need to keep our distance from each other. We've always got our masks on. We're constantly sanitising our hands and yeah, look, we can't go into each other's rooms and sort of have a chat and have a carry on. We just can't do it right now. Um, but you know, that's fine. We need everyone fit and ready for the game. So we have to make these sacrifices, you know. Just in terms then of your own journey with Ireland, I mean, how much of a difference do you see with this week and given that there's a flight chartered for Thursday and, and it is how greater or how much more professional does it feel going into such a big game this week than maybe in previous years? Look, it's huge. Um, you know, the FAI have got the chartered flight, flight for us, which is great. It's important. I think it's also important just with what's going on right now. You know, there's no point of us, you know, getting, you know, going through different airports. It just heightens the risk of us maybe something, uh, contracting something. So it's good that we've got, you know, the flight. We can just go on the flight, get straight to Ukraine, and then we're ready and focused for the game. So it's massive. But li like I said, we've, we've come a long way. And uh, we're really happy to be working with FEI and the, we've got their support and it's it's great. Okay. Thanks, Rush. Cheers. Speaker Galver. Hi, Rusha. Um, the last time out against Ukraine, I was Vera Bell's first game in charge. How much do you think the group has come on since that first game? Yeah, they've, they've come on massive. I was actually at Tala watching the game. I was in the stand. I was being a fan girl. So, you know, um, no, it was it was good. But the team, I think, you know, obviously takes a bit of time to, you know, get used to the new staff that come in. But everyone's bought into what Vera and, and the staff are doing. So that's the most important thing, that it's going well. Like I said, um, we're in such a good position right now, which is brilliant, but we're all just focused, you know, we're ready for the game to come. Um, and yeah, we, we trust Vera and we trust the staff, so it's great. Um, as you said there earlier, you've been a part of the, the Ireland setup for a while now. Just looking back at other campaigns or other years, uh, how big an opportunity do you think this is now to actually go and qualify for a major tournament? Yeah, it, it's massive. Look, for some of us, you know, this could be the only opportunity we get, at, you know, qualifying again. So we know how big it is, but at the same time, we wouldn't have it any other way. You know, the pressure's on, but, you know, we're, we're very lucky to be in this position. You know, I don't know if the last time it was maybe under No King that the, the girls might have got to a playoff. So it's been a, it's been a long time, a long time coming, but, you know, it's great now to be in this uh, position and, you know, we're well prepared. So we're just looking forward to it. Does it add a, a bit of pressure, a bit of urgency, knowing that it could potentially be like for for some of the squad members the last chance of course but look you play football there's always pressure on you when you're playing football like they say you know pressure's a privilege in playing football mm -hmm. so we just you know have to you know just see it's just a game we can't let the surroundings and the occasion get the better of us we just need to be focused and be calm and we're ready so great thanks Richard. best luck cheers hi tony how are things Good, thanks. Yeah, um, and how's it been in Germany so far? Yeah, good. Uh, not too cold, um, so not too bad. No, no lashing rain or anything. But uh, yeah, no, it's going well. Well, no doubt you've heard that uh, we've gone to level five here. Mm, I heard I'm getting the text. Uh, yeah, a lot of sad faces coming back with level five, but I suppose it has to be done with all the cases that are going up and stuff. Yeah, are you aware though that? You know, a good result from from you guys on on Friday will actually 
be a, such a positive for everyone who loves football? Yeah, I think so. Um, like all, all the well wishes we're getting at home and obviously the mood at home probably isn't going to be great. So times like this, sport can be really used as a relief. And um, yeah, hopefully we can provide a, a bit of a feel good factor at home by, by a good result on Friday. Now, I looked at that uh, video that you did uh, for Jigsaw and uh, how important is mental health for people at a time like this? And, you know, that was a lot of that was about having somebody like a responsible, like a, you know, some some decent friend to talk to or whatever. Yeah, it's huge. I think um, it, obviously global pandemic, it's a tough time for everyone. Um, so it's important to be able to tap into different resources, whether that's talking to people is always great using different apps um, like meditation, mindfulness, all those things to, you know, try and keep yourself in the here and now and not get carried away without future thoughts. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's massive. I, I, like I myself personally use apps and stuff just to keep myself kind of grounded on a daily basis. And now that you're captain at Liverpool, is that something you feel a responsibility more to the group than you did perhaps in the past? And would the same be true of Ireland? Definitely, definitely Liverpool. I think obviously now being captain, you have that extra responsibility, you know, to help out off the pitch stuff, which, you know, brings its own challenges and burdens, but um, making sure you can help everyone with off field problems. And that can be just as difficult as actually concentrating as on, as your job on the pitch. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's a new experience for me. Definitely learning as I'm going along as well. I get the sense though in the Ireland squad, there's quite a lot of strong characters that there could be quite a few of you could be captain there is a, like an experienced group um you have a lot of senior players that have been around the block a good few times and obviously you've got the likes of katie denise who are you know on top of their game at the minute so uh, there's a lot of na- natural leaders there in the group so it, it's great for the team and great for the squad well the very best of luck to you thanks tony it'll be good hi Nave. hi uh, philip how are you thanks Good, good, thanks. Um, Rihanna was talking yesterday about how she expects Ukraine to be a lot different. And it's something Vera mentioned earlier in the week about how maybe they underestimated you at Tala last year. Have you had a chance to look at their more recent games? Because that was what Vera said, would be more looking to judge what they've done in their recent performances rather than trying to compare them to last year's game. Yeah, we've had a, we've had a look at their recent game against um, Greece. They won 4-0 and um, I think, I suppose, yeah, Shkabir is right where we probably went under the radar a bit against them that early opening game. So we're expecting a lot different challenge this time, but um, we'll have our homework done as well and we'll be ready for the challenge. And now that obviously there's so much on the line on Friday, there's an expectancy but and that brings a pressure, but it must be a nice pressure to have to be in this position that there is something so big to play for. Definitely. I think as a as a player playing at the top level, you want to you want to be in these situations, you want to be in the scenarios. And for me, pref- pressure is a is a privilege. So um yeah, it's something everyone is looking forward to and is it, hopefully we get the you know right results so we can get to the playoffs. And just on the video sessions, is that something you enjoy as a player? Some players like it, others probably just rather than get on the pitch. <laughs> Yeah, it, was, it, dep- it depends how long it usually goes on for and I'll, uh, my answer is usually judged off that um, but if it, it's not too long and they generally don't tend to be it's something that's a really helpful tool um, can help you you know just give you that extra added bit of information that helps you prepare mentally as well before you actually step on the pitch so yeah I, I personally don't mind them and I think most of the group actually get a lot of benefit from them okay best of luck on Friday cheers thanks Phil Paul Dollery how are you how are you Hi, Paul. Good, thanks. Um, Niamh, there was a, a bit of concern last year when Colin Bell left that the you know the progress made under him would be undone. But you know, I'm sure you had those concerns as well yourselves. But looking at how things have gone in the, in the 15 or 16 months since then, it seems like the transition has barely been fairly smooth. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, I think so. I think um, obviously under Colin, we uh, did a lot of good work. Probably laid the foundations defensively, and we're very organised. And um, Vera's obviously come in and then she's stamped her way and her authority on us as well. So it's been a smooth transition, but it's, you know, building on from what Colin's done and now implementing what um, Vera wants. So I, I think it, I think it's gone well. Yeah, I believe you were uh, celebrating a birthday last week, were you? 
<laughs> it was, yeah. We don't have to mention the number though, sorry. <laughs> one thing, yeah, yeah. Which just in terms of, uh, I mean, your own future performance wise for Ireland, you know, over the last week, you, you don't look like you're approaching the end at all. Does it feel like you're capable of going on for a good few more years yet? I, yeah, I'd like to think so. Um, um, body's feeling good, feeling fit. So, um, yeah, th- to be honest, I don't look too far ahead. I just, yeah, try and stay like everything here in the now and keep each game as it comes. And if I do well, I do well and I'm up for selection again. So, um, yeah, that's that, that's as far as I'm thinking at the minute. And just lastly, from me and you, have, um, obviously growing up as a Liverpool fan, it's been a massive deal for you over the last few weeks, captain, captain in the club. What, what's that been like? Oh, it's, it's been amazing. Um, such an honour, basically, leading out the team when I get to at the weekend and having that extra added responsibility. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just been fantastic and I'm really enjoying the whole experience. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves back up to the top league. But uh, yeah, being a fan and everything, it's yeah, stuff of dreams, really. Great. Thanks, Neve. All the best. Cheers. Thanks, Paul. Uh, Anthony Point. Hi, Neve. How are you? Hi. Good. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, can I just ask you how you found playing in the championship this season and was there any concerns with yourself that you might possibly lose something in playing in the lower division this year or how competitive have you actually found it? I think playing in the championship is definitely, it's brought us different challenges. Uh, teams are a lot more physical and we've had to adapt and adjust to that and I think um, as a team we're starting to do that now but personally for me staying was a no-brainer. I wanted to stay at the club, get us back up to where we are and we managed to keep a lot of our squad, which is very much a top-level squad. So, um, yeah, there, there was no concern for me actually staying and, and playing in the championship. If you look at the calibre of player coming into the Women's Super League now, Niamh, maybe uh, I think you went to Arsenal in 2008. So, I mean, is, is playing in the champion more of a, vi- a viable option for some Irish players, given how difficult or high the bar is in the league at the moment? Yeah, I suppose it's... Um, it is a good stepping stone to get into the WSL. Um, it's p- mostly part-time. Um, preferably anyone who is making a switch over to England would want to go full-time. But um, yeah, it is It is a good league in terms of standard and competitive. So um, it's, not a, it's not a bad option. I, I do think there's plenty of scope for Irish players to go directly into the top league. Um, but yeah, it's good to be able to have that option as well if, if people want to make that switch. And just the last one for me, you've been around the Ireland camp for a long time. Do you think this is your biggest week or the biggest game you've been involved with so far? Uh, I had, obviously, the qualifier against Iceland um, playoff in 2008. Uh, that was, you know, to get to the finals and fell short on that occasion. So hopefully it'll be um, second time lucky this time. Okay. Best of luck, Neve. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Speak for Gallagher. Hi, Niamh. Uh, just actually following on from that, um, it's been a while since you've been, I suppose, within touching distance of a, of a playoff. What do you think is, is different about this particular team that's been missing for the past maybe decade or so? Probably, first of all, the fact that most of the majority of the team are full-time professionals. That time um, was the opposite. The majority were amateurs or in college or university. Uh, so we have that added experience. People are more of our players are playing at the top level, and then you have people who are you know winning titles in America, England, like so Denise K. You've got that level of attacking player now that's right at the top of their game. So uh, we're definitely in a stronger position than we were um, back in two thousand and eight. Sure, sure. And I know that this might be looking forward a wee bit, but. Just for you personally, what would it mean to actually reach a, a major tournament? It would mean everything. Like I've, you know, played anywhere that I've gone to play. It's always been with the view to keeping myself in the Irish team or being involved in trying to qualify for a major tournament. Um, so for me, it would be the, you know, one of the pinnacles of my career actually getting to a final. So, uh, yeah, just just massive. That's great. Thanks, Neve. All right.